If you bake feta cheese with red peppers, tomatoes, onions, rosemary, and garlic, and then season it simply with black pepper and olive oil, it creates the perfect soup recipe without even using a pot. Just transfer everything to a blender, squeeze out the garlic, and blend it with vegetable broth. It transforms into a creamy, rich tomato soup that is so full of flavor and perfect for dipping with non-grilled cheese. So good. I gained over 10 million followers over the past 10 years sharing healthy recipes that make you feel good. Hi, I'm Yumna. I first started Feel Good Foodie as a way to learn how to cook. And in the process, I inspired millions of you to also learn how to cook, try new recipes, and build confidence in the kitchen. After so many years, I finally created my first cookbook that includes 125 easy and delicious recipes that are elevated by eight Mediterranean staples. In this book, you'll find clever dinner ideas, quick hacks, and tips for stocking your fridge, freezer, and pantry. There's even an entire section for how to use leftovers. More than 100 of the recipes are vegetarian. They all require 10 ingredients or less and take less than 30 minutes of prep. Every recipe was tested at least three times, so you can make this your go-to cookbook. You can pre-order the book today. So good. If you keep frozen shrimp in your freezer, you can throw together the quickest family meals. This one starts like a shrimp scampi, but I add tomatoes, vegetable broth, and red wine vinegar to give it a bright and fresh flavor. There's something about buttery, bursting tomatoes with shrimp that will make this feel like a restaurant meal, but it's literally whipped up in 20 minutes. It's one of my 10 easy seafood recipes from my new cookbook. So good. This is shredded filo dough that I always have in my freezer for making knefe. Recently, a knefe pistachio chocolate bar went viral in Dubai, made with fried shredded filo, stirred with pistachio butter, and then stuffed in a chocolate bar. I've made real chocolate from scratch before, but to make this quicker, I just chopped and melted some dark chocolate and placed it into a mold with a pistachio mixture on top, covered by another layer of melted chocolate and then frozen solid for just about 20 minutes. It actually wasn't that hard to make this quick version, but I'm curious to taste the real version one day. So good. If you blend together cottage cheese, eggs, and any spices, you can actually create a super high protein flatbread to make low carb sandwiches. Just bake it in the oven until the edges are set and you can get two flatbreads from the one recipe. Then you can use it to make any kind of wrap you want. I stuffed mine with cream cheese, lettuce, smoked salmon, everything seasoning, and lemon slices. Even though this doesn't replace bread, it's a great way to eat more protein. So good. If you bake feta cheese with red peppers, tomatoes, onions, garlic, and thyme and season it with a little black pepper and olive oil, it creates the perfect sheet pan pasta sauce. This recipe is sponsored by Athena's Feta Cheese with a creamy, tangy taste that makes the sauce so delicious. Just transfer everything to a blender, squeeze out the garlic, and blend it with a little pasta cooking water. The creamy sauce seriously needs to be bottled up and it's perfect for enjoying all week with your favorite pasta. So good. If you love the smash tacos trend, this is a Middle Eastern version made with ground chicken, some spices, onions, breadcrumbs, and tomb garlic spread, which is such a staple Middle Eastern condiment that you can use in a burger recipe instead of mayo or eggs. Press the mixture onto a small pita and fry for just two to three minutes per side. Then you can top it off with tomatoes, pickles, and more tomb, of course. Fold it in half and again. So good. If you've tried my yogurt marinated chicken before, you have to try this new version made with pesto, lemon juice, garlic, salt, and pepper. I use Stonyfield Organic Greek Yogurt made with high quality ingredients to add moisture, creaminess, and a little tang to the marinade. Plus it helps to make the juiciest chicken ever. And then I tried this hack for quickly making kebabs using chicken tenders skewered onto four sticks. It's easier to grill and flip, and it's a fun way to serve chicken kebabs this summer. If any chicken gets stuck to the grill, just cover those pots with more pesto and no one's going to know. Slice them to make four skewers and again. So good. If you cooked a lot of quinoa and not sure what to do with it, turn it into fritters with a few simple ingredients. Just mix it with eggs, feta, onions, parsley, garlic, salt, and breadcrumbs. Form them into patties, then bake, air fry, or pan fry them with a little avocado oil until they get nice and crispy. You can serve them as a meal, on top of a salad, or as an appetizer with your favorite dip. So good. If you want to make a healthier cheesecake, start by using oats instead of graham crackers and combine it with butter and sugar. To make the filling healthier, I swapped some of the cream cheese for cottage cheese, which still keeps it super creamy but adds more protein to the filling. You can bake a whole cheesecake, but I love turning them into small cheesecake cups for the perfect dessert treat. Keep them plain or add some fresh sliced strawberries and powdered sugar on top. So good. My husband thought I was pregnant when I showed him this new watermelon sandwich. It's basically a layer of watermelon with pickles, cheddar cheese, balsamic glaze, and basil. I definitely saw it trending on TikTok, and I was definitely surprised how much I liked it.
It's actually good. If you like everything bagels, try frying the seasoning on a pan with olive oil and then cracking eggs on top. The seasoning gets so crispy and infuses the oil. Then you can add the eggs to a toasted plain bagel with some mashed avocado if you'd like. So good. Did you know if you toast quinoa, you can eat it without boiling it? It's a great way to add more crunch and more protein to a simple dark chocolate bar. You can also add some vanilla protein powder for more flavor and protein. Just mix it all together, transfer it to a chocolate mold, let it set, and you've got a quinoa crunch chocolate. Is the best thing to do is mix it with sugar, cornstarch, cinnamon, and lemon juice, and then make a crisp topping with oats, flour, brown sugar, and cold butter that you want to dice up small and mix it right in there until it's crumbly. Add the crisp on top of the peaches and bake it all at 375 for 35 minutes until it's golden and bubbly. You're going to serve this warm with some vanilla ice cream on top and I think you'll be buying a lot more peaches after this. Mm. So good. There's no need to use a knife to make this egg salad. I use a grater to grate the eggs, the celery, and the lemon. Instead of using mayo, I use cottage cheese, which adds 14 grams of protein to the salad. When you mix it with the mustard, salt, pepper, and dill, it's the perfect high-protein salad to make for the week for lunches or snacking. So good. If you need something to give you energy in the middle of the day, try mixing some green tea matcha powder with milk until blended and then adding to it honey and chia seeds. Stir it all together until the chia seeds are floating and refrigerate for at least a couple hours. I always make a big batch at once because it lasts all week. You can top it off with any fruit and some crushed nuts or just enjoy it on its own. So good. If you thinly slice chicken breast and place it on a sheet pan with some thinly sliced green and red peppers, onions and garlic, it's the start of an easy sheet pan meal. You can season it in so many ways, but I love making chicken fajitas this way by adding my own seasoning and a couple limes on the pan. Roast it all together for only 15 minutes and you can assemble them with some salsa, sour cream, and guac for fajitas without a fuss. So good. Everyone is making pistachio chocolate bars and all I keep thinking is how I can eat more pistachios for dinner. So I came up with this creamy pistachio pesto sauce that's easy to make and blend it. There's no need to cook the sauce, just cook the organic plant-based chickpea pasta for five minutes and you'll get a pasta with 24 grams of protein and a taste and texture that really feels like traditional pasta. This is great for an easy weeknight meal, but if you want to make it feel more fun, add some burrata cheese on top with more pistachios and this may be better than chocolate. So good. If you have a lot of zucchini, one of my favorite things to do with it is thinly slice them, salt them to draw out the moisture, and make lasagna with them. I make a meat sauce with ground beef, some spices, and jarred marinara sauce, and then a cheese sauce with ricotta or ricotta cheese, parmesan, egg, and Italian seasoning. You can layer it like a traditional lasagna or just layer with as much zucchini slices as you have. I turn mine into a flat, small sheet pan lasagna, and it is so easy and delicious this way. So good. If you want to cut watermelon a new way, try slicing it first and then removing the edges to cut it into a rectangle. Now I like to use a cute crinkle cutter to cut them into small crinkly fries. Then I make a dip to go with the fries using yogurt or cottage cheese with strawberries. The watermelon is so much more fun to eat this way for kids and adults. It's sweet, healthy, and everyone loves it. So good. If you chop broccoli pretty small and microwave it, you can actually turn it into a low-carb pizza dough. Just mix it with an egg, chosen foods mayonnaise that's made with avocado oil, mozzarella cheese, and some seasoning, and then spread it out into the shape of a pizza. When you bake it in the oven, it holds together really well. I made a roasted garlic sauce with chosen foods 100% pure avocado oil blended with cream cheese and topped with chicken and cheese. It's a fun way to eat more veggies and your kids can brag to their friends at school that they ate a green pizza for dinner tonight. So good. Did you know you can make pizza dough with only two ingredients? Just self-rising flour and Stonyfield whole milk Greek yogurt. It's an excellent source of protein. It's creamy, organic, and made with high quality ingredients. Mix them together to create a light and fluffy dough with more protein compared to regular dough. I like making a big batch and then turning them into mini pizzas that are great for back to school lunches because they're good hot or cold or you can save them for some easy grab-and-go snacking after school. So good.